Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome to this let's play of Europa and Universalis 4. I don't know which country we're gonna play though, because... Um, well, you obviously do, because I'll have put it in the thumbnails and all of that stuff, but... I'm thinking about hitting the Random Nation button again. I did ask at the end of the Congo campaign if anyone had any suggestions of what we should play, uh, but none were forthcoming, so I'm think thinking we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna hit the Random Nation, and we're just gonna keep doing that until we get a tag uh, that uh, holds an achievement that I don't have. And there are quite a few of those, of those tags left. We are now on the Denmark patch. We've upgraded to that. So let's see. Um, around the new world? No, I don't think we're gonna do that. Random nation. Knight. I already have the uh, knight achievement, however. So, not there. Elodia! Elodia, Elodia, Elodia. Um, well, there is the uh, Nubian one, isn't it, I think. They start as Nubian culture, don't they? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Nubian ideas. Um, so, there's that. Oh, this map has changed. Don't recall these two nations there before. Okay, uh, Makuri has been split up. Hmm. Could be interesting, I suppose. There. What is it? The Kushite Restoration? Hmm. I mean, it's tied to these four tracks. Yeah, why not? Okay, fine. I guess we're gonna go with that. Um, options. We're just gonna keep everything at the default possible. I think. Um, since we're playing Elodia, we could always switch over to Random New World. It wouldn't hurt us. It would be kind of fun to see what happens over there. But, nah, I'm gonna keep it, keep it like this. Standard, standard stuff. Let's see. Newbin ideas. What do we have? Yeah, I'll explore that once we get into the game. Um, Iron Man mode, obviously. Let's see. So, let's see. And, and this is gonna be Elodia. And just in case we need to restart. <laughs> it might happen. So, in we go. Let's see what Elodia has to offer. And of course, we also want to see the exact achievement. Uh, yeah, that's also possible since we're Coptic, but um, there we go. Kushite Restoration. As a Nubian culture nation, own the entire Egyptian region as core provinces. That isn't impossible, but it will require. Um, yeah, Egyptian region. That would require us to be to beat the Ottomans to Egypt. Yeah, pretty much everything here. Okay, um... That might not be such a difficult achievement to get. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um... Oh, uncolonized land. Really? My goodness, they definitely split up the Ethiopia too. That's quite a few new nations down here. Hmm. At any rate, let's see if we can make this work. I have no idea if we're gonna do that. Uh, the other one was the Coptic one, but I don't think we're gonna be able to secure all five blessings. Um, we start out with a 333 ruler. It's a babbling buffoon. Well, that's not good. Uh, we have way too little money. Not much to do there. We accept new culture. There aren't any other cultures within our borders. Rivals. Beja and Jongola. They have both rivaled us. And yeah, that's fine. We're gonna rival you right back. I think. That seems okay with me. Um... Other than that, our economy is rubbish. We are at Tech 3. We have no institutions problems whatsoever right now. Because we actually have feudalism. And our neighbors don't. Oh! 
That's kind of cool. So we are actually have an edge on our northern neighbors here. That's cool. As for Nubian ideas, let's see, what do we start out with? We start out with 10% extra tax modifier, plus one diplomatic relations. And the finisher would be land maintenance. Okay, that's fine. Goods produced, that's good. Stability cost, the uh, attrition for enemies, that's kind of nice. Uh, caravan power, okay. Missionary strength. I like that one. A bit late though, cavalry combat also nice. Fort maintenance. Okay, not exactly the strongest idea set, I guess, but still. And uh, improve our prestige. No, improve relations with Ethiopia, certainly possible. Reclaim Shanti. Wait, wait, wait. Reclaim. Yeah, it's our core. Huh, okay. We'll certainly be doing that, but uh, we probably want to have friends first. The reward is kind of sucky, though. Um... Oh! Wait, 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 what government are we? Tribal Kingdom! Ah! Yeah, that's not good. Okay, what do we need to reform? We need... Economic, innovative, or administrative. So I'm guessing we're gonna go administrative ideas. Since we're gonna have to be coring stuff up north. Coptic! I haven't really played a Coptic nation, so let's see. At least not since they s switched around everything. Not also holy sites, and only one of them is currently active. Um, how do the blessings work? Again, um, when where do I even see that? Number of blessings you can pick corresponds to the number of holy sites. Yeah, but where do we even pick, pick blessings? Yeah, I'll find it. At somewhere, somewhere. Um, well, actually, that's a button for it there, isn't there? Okay. Um, army, not much we can do here. Um... So we can take more down. Yeah, that's fine. Our cavalry is stronger and morale. That's probably the better choice. If we can even afford cavalry. Okay, can I do anything with the estates? Not really. I mean, they don't even have influence. Yeah, we have to give them tons of influence. Secure diplo points. Let's see. Estates, estates. Yeah, they're the only ones with an estate right now. We're small enough that it isn't my personal union. Ooh. Ugly. Um. Okay, so we could steal points here. Quite a few points. I have to call it yet anyway. Let's start with that. 63% influence. If I can give them another 10%, that would be good. That would be... Oh, probably dangerous. That would be dangerous, but... Let's do it anyway. 150 military points. Because we want that. And I don't think we have any real chance of boosting them, do we? Um, let's see if we can do that. That will get them to 30% influence. That would allow, allow us to recruit both ministers. Yeah, okay, we can do that, I suppose. No? Oh, okay, no, we can't. Darn it. I require more. Require more influence, but I suppose we can give them a province. If we have some really crappy province. And we have plenty of crappy provinces, and we also have some that are a bit unruly. 
And this one is so autonomous anyway. Goodness, starting out at 72. Ugh. Fine. Uh, clergy, you can have this one. That'll definitely increase your strength to 50. So I could boost you to 75. Um, I don't dare do that though, because the next event we're going to have to um, pick some whatever is the opposite of the nobility. So if I pick, if both of these are at 78% or so, we won't have a much of a choice. Well, actually, we could re revoke the one from the clergy. Yeah, that's fine. We could do that. So fine, we're going to recruit both of the people, even if you don't need them. It's going to put you past 76%, 75%. That's going to give us 50% more power. Take that point. Yum, 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 yum. As for you, I am not going to do anything. I'm just going to take your money. Okay, uh, we have now actually the ability to convert. Not going to do that. I could hire one of the people we just got. That's a lot of monarch points. A lot of monarch points. And it would allow us to convert these two provinces. It would cost a fortune, though. Uh, mission, not really interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Relations. Are there anyone who don't hate our guts? Ethiopia is fairly powerful. Oh, you start... Oh, they are your subjects. Ah. ah. Okay. You would not take an alliance, but you are relatively friendly. Um... I want to kill Ethiopia's uh, kill the Mamluks. I mean, so can't really befriend them. Don't even know the Ottomans. And Timurids, I do know, but I don't know if they'd be willing to ally with us. Let's see if we can find some allies nearby first. Thirty-six. Makuria would uh, certainly join us right away. Medribai, they would join. And then we could always butter up to Ethiopia. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? I think... That is probably what we're going to do. So we're going to start with offering an alliance to Medribahi. Uh, we're going to improve relations with Ethiopia. Um... And reclaim the province there immediately. Coptic blessings. Let's see, what do we have? Legitimacy, manpower, recovery speed. Oh. Hmm. That's a lot of good stuff. <laughs> that really is a lot of good stuff. But I think we're going to go with the discipline. Um, the alternative is manpower recovery. I'm going to go with discipline, I think. Try to be as strong as we can be. And we can only get a blessing for because of Boxum. And yeah. Makuria controls Gazkirim, but then it's so Sunni, so we'll have to fix that. Are they a Sunni nation? No, they're Coptic, so they might actually fix that. I can't offer an alliance until the first one is. First offer there is done. Uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, fabricating on you. Both of these are sultanates. They hate one another. Awesome. Um, I assume you have the same amount of men as we do. I am going to strengthen my military. Because we kind of have to. Force limit is 8. No, it's 9. Fine, I'm going to build up the force limit. I'm not going to hire any advisor right now. And sure, we'll start the conversion process. Because we can. 
So we haven't placed either of our merchants. Really? Well, Alexander is too far away. The only place we can send our traders is to the... We can send to the Great Lakes. No, we can't actually. We can't see that node, but that's within range. Mm. Yeah, so not really much we can do. I don't know if we're going to get any better deals if I send a merchant to collect from trade here. Because a merchant that is collecting trade reduces something, something. I don't, I don't recall. There's something that... that th there must be a reason why the AI doesn't auto-deploy the merchant there, because you're supposed to start out with the most ideal setup. Well, I don't know. Let's see, dynastic actions. Yeah, we'll see. They might swing over to accept a royal marriage. My goodness, do they have a darn starting... Good look at that monarch. 655, and their air is... Uh, okay, their air is rubbish, but my goodness. 655. What about you guys? Yeah, you're the strongest one. I have to worry about you first. And... Um, I'm gonna switch to mil military tech. I just want to be ahead of there. Ahead of that. I really have to be. Can't fall risk falling behind there. Of course, we're already losing money. Uh, we don't have an actual fort, just a capital fort. Let's see what happens. Start. Okay, Madribai accepted an alliance. So we'll do the same as soon as we have a diplomat back. Okay, um... Glory to the... belongs to the Coptic Tribal Kingdom of Makuria. Uh, Renovated with Basbid. Okay, so... Okay... Does that automatically switch? The province? No, it doesn't. The Holy Heart? Yeah, 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 that's fine. So they're basically letting us know who controls what in terms of that stuff. Um, for now, I'm willing to be in, a, in alliance with you. And we're going to try to swing an alliance with Ethiopia just to secure our southern border. And then we're going to probably play ball here. take a little while before they're willing to become friends, I think, but... Yeah, do I want to royal marry you? Because... Um, it's gonna take one heck of a doing for to make you like me enough to subjugate you. Yeah, for now it's okay. And that gave us a queen. That's fine. Surprised you wouldn't marry. Okay, I'm gonna send the offer then. Just to cement things a bit. Let's see, they have no friends. Let's gather the army. I'm gonna need a military leader. Um no air. The Queen Regent is actually better. Do I want to risk using the King? I mean, it would save us points. That's a... <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, right now we have no legal air, which is bad. But the Queen Regent is better in stats. One more point. Um, she also has a much better uh, trait. What about you, guys? you, sir? What did you get? M malevolent. Okay. And you're a sinner. Huh. At 
let's see. What will you become? You will become a 1111. Yeah, we'll have to do that. I'm gonna just save my military points for the first I first tech. When will we have that? 1448. So here's the risk. If I wait, they might get protected by the Mamluks and then we'll have no chance of expanding what's so freaking ever. Because Mamluks will be super strong for a very long time. Wait a second, why do we have... Our attitude is actually friendly towards them. Huh. Okay. Don't know about that. Yeah, we're losing money, I know. I'm just trying to secure... Yeah, one more month and we should be able to secure this. With a royal marriage, they should be more willing to become an alliance partner. Hopefully. Still zero? Darn it, come on. You want to be friends with me, Ethiopia. You know you do. I'm all kinds of terrified that these will both be uh, protected. You were actually warned. Okay, interesting. Um, all of this is Sunni territory. Or Shia. Anything but anything we'd want it to be. Okay, you'll take a royal marriage now. Good, let's do that. That should make you a lot more willing to become an alliance partner. Not willing enough. But that'll at least uh, tie them up a bit. Yeah, you already have a reconquest on us. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna attack. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We can bring in Makoria. How strong are they? This was Dongola, yes. Military armies Dongola. They have 6,000. We should be able to beat that on our own. So we're gonna go it alone. And that's fine because this is the fort, so yeah. Take Horshendi, we could call in them, but we're not gonna. And we're gonna immediately beeline up to smash his army. Can of course equip our superb king. And let's see how this goes. This is a desert, but it is a river crossing. Uh, would you come for us? Really? You would? Awesome! Then we won't have the river crossing, you will have the river crossing. Oh, may get crossing penalty. Okay, fine. Let's see, you have a 2-3 leader. Ooh! Uh, that kind of sucks. We have a larger army. They have cavalry too. At least we have a tiny discipline edge. Come on. Come on. Defeat them. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, we did. Um, inspirational leader. Yes, awesome. Go there. Kill their army. Hopefully. Yes, excellent. And... Quickly secure the rest of the land. Good, that's very good indeed. Uh, let's start fabricating on you, sir. Oh, 
It doesn't look like we're actually gonna need this, I think. Mm. Yeah, this, you will see. Let's see, eating you alive will take how many points? Or how much war score? 30 pro. Okay, excellent, so we can do that. Unfortunately, I don't think we can humiliate you if we dis if you eat if we eat you alive. That's the drawback. But we need to grow and we need to grow fast, so we're gonna try that. Paying an arm and a leg for this, but no. Uh, it's gonna be good. What about you? Where's your fort? That's actually there. But that's fine too. We can certainly beat you. And these are Nubian culture. You also allied Mercury, right? Yeah, you did. You have not allied anyone, and the Mamluks don't seem eager to protect you, which is awesome. Someone fabricated them. Oh, they fabricated on us. Yeah, that's fine. If you think that's gonna work for you, you have another thing coming. So yeah, allying these two long term, that's gonna be a bad thing. Short term, it's gonna keep them off our backs. And we'll probably have to smash one of them in into the ground at some point. But we don't have the strength to deal with Ethiopia, certainly not while we have their god king. Though it would be beneficial if we could defeat him on the battlefield. Don't think I want to risk that though, because they're probably way stronger than us. And they start out as an empire, which is kind of funny. Um, and of course they're two subject states, and they have allies, I guess. No? Just vassals, but that's enough. Uh, they're probably going to be able to amass quite a bit more troops than we can. And... <laughs> yeah, he's going to have one heck of a time trying to fight Adal if they're allied to the Mamluks. loot down the provinces here. Um, I mean, that's like five or six ducats. The problem is we're gonna take these lands and we don't, don't want them to be overly poor. So, I don't think we're gonna. Uh, yeah, we might have to consider hiring that missionary. Oh, and you go down there because there's a revolt risk. See if you can quell that a bit. I mean, we'd start off with a pretty small country. Um, oh, there goes Dongola. We don't no need a spy there. So, let's see. I want my land, of course. Everything. Can I... I cannot humiliate you if I kill you. And if I don't kill him... Yeah, that's the problem. I could uh, boost and do that and get a lot of power protection boost, which would be useful. But if I do that, Makuria or Beja will eat them eat them while, I'll, while I'm looking the other way, and that's not good either. So I guess I'm going to have to forego the power protection points in favor of just... Gaining land. So, there we go, excellent. And we're gonna core the stuff that we didn't have from before. And of course, we're gonna raise autonomy. Because we'll kind of have to. And. Though it Kind of hurts me. I think we're gonna have to get the missionary. And 
then cut army maintenance to the core and to the floor there. Uh, yeah, sure. Root of corruption. You guys return to the capital. And we're just gonna have to sit tight for a while and while we try to convert all this to Coptic. And we'll do that next time. So at least we're off to a good start, I think. Uh, if you enjoy watching this series, or if you wish to show your support, please consider subscribing to the channel or hit those like buttons, because both actions help me out a great deal. And if you want to tell me how good or bad I'm playing, or ask questions or anything like that, the comment field should be just down below. As always, thank you for watching.